the Liberty Falls map is one of the best maps in Black Ops 6 Zombies. In my opinion, this map is just the easiest one to understand, easy to memorize, and just overall one of the maps that you should do first when playing Black Ops 6 Zombies. The reason why this map is my favorite is because it's just so small, easy to get around, you can memorize everything on it very easily, and just overall, it's a blast. In this video, I'm going to show you everything there is to know about this map, from how you can get easy perks, secret stashes, everything you need to know in order to play this and have fun. Before I get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Now when you first spawn in, you're like right above a gas station. If you make your way towards the bowling alley, to the first door that you should be able to open, there's a vending machine. If you pull out your melee weapon, which is by holding down the melee option, to pull out the melee weapon you have, you can hit the vending machine and get a chance to get a bunch of random stuff. From salvage, equipment, to even a ray gun if you're lucky. Now you can hit it every single round, but there's a chance you won't get anything other than like some random snacks and stuff like that. So you gotta be very lucky and you gotta be very consistent. But if you get melee macchiato and then punch the machine, you'll break the machine, but you'll get a whole lot more stuff from it. So you can either come to this thing every single round to get something, or just get melee macchiato, punch it once and get a pretty good amount of stuff. But the machine will be broken, so that'll be it from it. Next, if you head over to the bowling alley, you'll find a pool table that you can shoot and then get 100 essence from. You can also lay prone next to the perk machines and get 100 points as well, but that's just a basic thing that everyone knows. Now, while we're talking about the bowling alley, there's a way you can actually play bowling and get some rewards from it. You first need to find bowling shoes and shoot them all around the map. The first one you can possibly get is at the gas station right here. Now, the next one you can possibly get is by going right instead of straight to the bowling alley to the store right here. The next one will be on top of the coffin right through this window in front of the bowling alley. The next one you'll possibly find will be at the graveyard. It'll be dangling from this tree right here. And the last one isn't too far from the graveyard. It's right here in this window right underneath this chair. Now keep in mind, if you're doing a spider round, you won't be able to see these, so you need to do these during the regular rounds. And once you do it, you and everyone else in the game will be teleported to the bowling alley, where you'll play bowling and compete with each other to win awards. Now a little tip for you guys, if you hold on to the bowl, hold on to the bowl like charge it, you'll be able to hit multiple zombies. Now when I say hold it, I don't mean like hold it until the arrows like go up. No, you gotta hold it until the aura around the ball goes up like the flame and whatever gets more intense that's how you know it's charged and once you're done you can do this every two rounds by heading over to this bathroom right here and shooting the bowling shoes in this toilet if you can do this early you can get a lot of cool loot before you even do the easter egg now here there's a red pool and if you throw three semtexes in it consecutively this red orb will jump out of the water and give you loot the loot it'll give you will be salvage and some lethals and tacticals and whatever now you can do this again, but only after a vermin round, a spider round. And if you do it three times, on the third try, you'll get a fire sale. Now a little tip for you guys, when you get to the church, there are these crystals that you can shoot or just hit, and it'll drop you some stuff. It can be salvage, tacticals, lethals, just some basic stuff like that. But for the most part, it's salvage. Now this is very useful because after every round, one of these crystals will respawn. And a lot of the players that I play with tend to forget about these, so you'll most likely be able to get a lot of salvage and upgrade your weapons a lot faster than them. And while you're at the church, there's this zombie head right up top, right here. If you throw a grenade up there, you'll explode the zombie head, and then a bunch of zombies will fall from the sky, giving you loot. You can also use like an explosive gun, or any other thing that's explosive to shoot it. Now the loot does not improve after every round, but there is one piece of loot that does change, and that is the Aether tool. At round 11 or higher, you'll get a rare one. And I believe after like 40 or 41, you'll get an epic one. So in my opinion, I think it's best just to get it after round 11. Because at round 40, you probably don't even need it. You can also get this before round 11 and still get a chance to get like a chopper gunner or a bunch of other stuff. And while talking about the chopper gunner, you can actually use this to get something that'll give you a lot more loot in the early rounds. Right here in this area, there's a barrel. If you use a chopper gunner and shoot at it, it'll drop a shovel that you can pick up. Now I've heard people say you can use a grenade and an LD, whatever the other thing is, like the missiles, but I haven't been able to do it. Now back to the shovel, it won't show you that you'll be able to pick it up, but if you hold the interact button, you'll be able to pick it up. 
If you then head to the cemetery, or the graveyard, you'll be able to loot the graves. You can probably get weapons, possibly a ray gun, salvage, a bunch of other stuff. You can also get some like trolls, like an infected, a grenade, a bunch of stuff like that. This can be a very good head start if you manage to get this early. Now unfortunately you cannot go back to the graves and open them up again. Like the second you do it, that's it, it's done. But there are a lot of graves, so it's pretty worth it. Now something you can actually do very early on in the game is by getting your hands on a mangler cannon, by either buying it or shooting it off of a mangler, and then finding one of these cars. There are three around the map. One's by the comic store, one's by the shed where you can get the handbrake for the wonder weapon, and then another one's in front of the graveyard. Now if you look at the back seat and you find some kind of plushie, you can use the mangler cannon and shoot the trunk of the car and get a chance to get a wonder weapon. You're guaranteed a weapon, it could be good, could be bad, but on my try I managed to get the thunder gun. Now if you got it, it doesn't mean that the other two are useless. After some certain rounds, the plushie will spawn in one of them, and if you do this right, you can do it twice with three chances of getting a wonder weapon. So make sure you don't destroy these vehicles. Now if you have the thunder gun, here's something you can do to become invincible and be able to kill a bunch of zombies. If you head over to the comic store, you can find action figures for this superhero right here. Etherella, I think her name is. Now in the store, there are four that you need to suck up with the thunder gun. One's next to the trap on top of a shelf. And if you just look around in the store, you'll find four of them. Now next, you want to head over to this little motel and spawn. And you'll find it right here. The next one is on top of this sign of the bowling alley. The other one will be by Washington Street. If you jump over here, you'll be able to see it. Now for me, I had a bit of an issue trying to get it, but you'll be able to find it right here. Now depending on when you want to use this, we'll depict which location you want to get this last. Now there's one by this church, and if this is the last one you get, you can suck it into the church, and when you start the boss fight, suck it up and activate this little Easter egg, which I'll explain in a minute. But now if you don't want to do this on the Easter egg, you can get this last action figure by going on top of the bank and then going down here, and then getting the one on top of this air vent. Now when you get all of them, you'll transform into the superhero statue, and you'll be invincible for I think maybe two or three minutes. And if you head over to the trap itself, the Etherella trap, and then pay 1500 for it, you'll be faster, and I think you'll deal more damage, but I'm not sure. This is a great thing to have during the final boss, since you're immortal and you deal a lot of damage, so you can be a good distraction and be able to kill all the zombies. You could also have one of your friends doing it, and while he's sucking up the last one and then getting the upgrade, you can start the final boss, and maybe he'll teleport in with it, but I'm not sure, so you guys might want to try testing that out. Now another little hidden easter egg is that when you head over to this area right here and use these things, I forgot what they're called, but if you look through them and find a dancing zombie, you'll be able to make all the zombies around you dance. Now you need to do this with both of them, so look through one, find the dancing zombie, and keep your camera on it until the thing runs out. And then do the same thing with the other one. Now if you do this right, all the zombies near you will stop moving and dance. This also works for the mangler, and I think it also works for the three-headed monster thing, but I'm not sure. Now for me, I didn't really have a lot of zombies near me, so I don't have the footage of it, but trust me, it does work. And also, when looking through these things, you don't actually need to worry about zombies attacking you, because they will not attack you while you're doing this. Now next up, you guys might find these keys when killing the manglers and, you know, the big guys. You can actually use these keys to open safety deposit boxes that can have really good loot. These safety deposit boxes are in the bank. Now to open the bank, you need to find the codes. The first code you'll probably find is at the bowling alley. It's in under this bucket of alcohol. Shoot the bucket and it will reveal the note. Now the note will have the number and the position that it's at, so it'll tell you whether it's the first, second, or third number. The second one is in the comic store where this dead guy is. And the third one is in the bank itself. Now when you input the numbers, you don't have to worry about the zombies attacking you, so don't bother waiting for the perfect time, just go and do it instantly. And when you open it and go in, there'll be 500 essence that you can pick up. And just like that, you'll have the bank open. Now with the keys, the higher the rarity, the better the loot will be. Now another secret is that if you head over to the graveyard, you'll find cans on top of a fence. Now if you shoot all the cans, you'll be rewarded Deadshot Daiquiri. But you have to shoot them without missing a single bullet. And you can't kill any zombies in between. Because if you do, you'll have to wait till next round for the cans to be pushed back up onto the fence. So what I recommend is using a sniper or setting your AR or whatever weapon you have to single fire and taking your time trying to get it. There isn't a dead shot machine, so getting dead shot from this is actually very useful. Now next up, I'm going to show you how you can get every power up in the game. Now the first power up you can actually find right when you spawn in. It's a max ammo on top of this bridge and you can get it from exactly where you spawn. 
or you can head on down to where the X-Fill is and shoot it from there. The next one is a bonus point right here. It's like right next to the comic store. Double points you can find on top of this water tower. It's not really on top, it's kind of like in the middle, so look around and you'll be able to find it. And a little tip for you guys, make sure to have a friend to shoot this double points, or you can shoot the double points from spawn, with a sniper of course, and then head over to the bonus points and shoot that one. That way instead of getting 500, you'll get 1000 points. And you can use this double points to multiply the essence you get from the other tips and tricks that I've shown you. Next up we have insta-kill. This one will be on top of the church, where you can get it from the graveyard. Full power is behind this bus, right in between these cars. Full armor you can find through this window and this little trolley thing. Now if you get on top of this bank, you can find a nuke on top of this chandelier. Now this is a perfect placement and the perfect perk to have in this spot because on top of this bank and also below it are both the X-Fill spots. So you can start off in X-Fill and then grab this nuke and kill the horde of zombies, making it easier for you to escape. Now this next trick will help you during the boss fights. If you have napalm on your guns, you can head over into the church and then light these candles right here. You'll know that they work when they glow like this purple light. There's one here and then there's another one. Once you do this, the floor will catch fire, dealing damage to all the zombies. Now this also deals damage to you, so be careful. This is extremely useful during less battle, since you won't have to focus so much on zombies and you can focus more on the bigger infected. And lastly, if you manage to get to round 25, a perk machine will spawn on top of the bank that will let you buy any perk in the game, even the ones that you can't even buy, like Deadshot Daiquiri and Cherry Pop. Now that's it for the video. If you guys want a basic tips and tricks video, check out this video right here. And if I'm done with it, check out this full terminus guide. I'm sure it's not done at the time of this video, but if it is done, I'll leave it right here. Other than that, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.